Yeah, g'day Bush Camping Tools here. Well, I'm going to review another great uh, survival movie. This one, I think, came out in 1965. It's called Sands of the Kalahari, and it's an excellent movie. So Sands of the Kalahari is essentially a, a survival movie or a tale of survival. It was shot in uh, Namibia, the deserts of Namibia, and also Spain too. So it starts off with a bunch of people, they uh, miss their connecting flight to Johannesburg and four of them initially get together or two uh, come to a th uh, two others and, and uh, try to convince them that they should hire a plane and, uh, to go to Johannesburg. Anyway, they're about to get on the plane and literally almost take off and they're joined by the fifth person. So that makes a total of seven, including... That includes the captain and the co-pilot. Uh, the plane takes off and uh, they encounter at first what looks like a storm then they realize it's this ginormous plague of locusts. And they run straight into this plague of locusts. They don't have time to uh, you know, change their course. And, and, and the plague goes as far as you can see. So this swarm of, of locust swarm plague, whatever you want to call it, is just so ginormous they can't avoid it and it clogs up the uh, engines of this twin prop, prop plane and they crash land in the desert. So what did they get? It managed to get out of the plane. Well they got a couple of rifles, uh, some ammunition and basically that was that was it. You know, the clothes that they had on their back. All right, the next morning they managed to salvage from the remaining wreckage some wire and bits and bobs and they decided that they can't stay there in the desert because they're going to get cooked, there's no shelter, so they have to head towards some rocks in the distance to try to find some shelter. One of the party members is injured, so uh, that requires another two people to help him along. Uh, so eventually they all get to some rocks and they discover that around this rocky outcrop where they are there's a whole lot of baboons. So you might think straight away that uh, you know their food supply is uh, sold there because they've got two guns and they've got ammunition but they decide they don't want to shoot the, the... well they sort of decide they a, don't want to shoot the baboons. Some of us say because they you know feel a bit like they're a bit like humans and the others uh, and, and another guy says it'll be really hard to shoot them because if you get close to them, you know, or it'll be difficult to get close to them and, and or once they know that you're shooting at them, they'll stay a long way away. But what they didn't know when they made this movie, some facts here in, in 65, was that baboons, it's possible for them to carry SV40, which is simian virus 40. Now this virus, uh, some of you are old enough may know that Prior to uh, 1963, uh, some polio vaccines that used to be made from rhesus monkey kidney cells were contaminated with SV40. So it's probably not a good, you know, it was probably a good decision now. You know, if this happened now, it probably would be a good decision not to be eating the baboons because if you were contaminated with the blood after killing them, Baboons, um, they've only actually been shown to have uh, SV40 in them from captive baboons, in a troop of captive baboons, but they can actually contain another uh, polyoma virus, and that's called SA12, and that was isolated uh, in 1977. So there's a 2008 uh, scientific publication where they talk about earlier studies uh, provided some evidence that SV40 may play a role in a number of human cancers. Uh, so there's a whole range of potential cancers that SV40 uh, could be involved with in humans. So once again, you know, when it comes to eating bushmeat, it's probably not a good idea in a survival situation. What a 
at Din's, I could go, ooh, ten days of that much water. If I had west of... Yes, yeah, so it looks like an oryx, this thing. They managed to bring it down. It's pretty dangerous, you know, with these horns going everywhere and that it's wounded and they finish it off with some rocks and a knife, the, uh, the Puma White Hunter. But, uh, so then they've got, you know, it's inferred that they've got plenty of meat there. Uh, so we find out later on what happened to the captain that set off earlier on. Well, he, I don't want to tell you actually because it's such a great movie. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, suffice it to say, it's, uh, it's a really great adventure survival movie and it's really worth watching so I'm not going to tell you any more spoilers for this. I hope you can watch it. It's called Sands of the Kalahari. Uh, it came out, I think, from Paramount in 1965. It's an excellent movie about, you know, how people have to work together and it only takes somebody to go crackers to uh, possibly ruin everything. And, you know, the important things that, well, things that we don't take into consideration is, you know, uh, the harmony amongst everybody that's involved in the survival situation, and that's paramount to, to keep it together there until you're rescued. Anyway, yeah, Bush Camping Tools here. Thanks for watching.